010305, adding a network adapter to virtual machine. When adding a network adapter to your virtual machine, different options might be available depending on the version of the virtual machine, whether or not the virtual machine has been updated to the latest version for the current host and the guest operating system. In previous versions of ESX Server, like version 2.5, there were two drives to choose from. VLANs is a virtual implementation of a common, now pretty old, physical network adapter. Most 32-bit guest operating systems, except for Windows Vista, have built-in support for this card, so a virtual machine configured with this network adapter can use its network immediately. VMX Net. Virtual network adapter has no physical counterpart. VMware makes VMX Net available because VLANs, an implementation of a physical card, is far from optimal for network performance in a virtual machine. VMX Net is highly optimized for performance in a virtual machine. Because there is no physical card of type VMX Net, operating system vendors do not provide built in drivers for this card. You must install VMware tools to have a driver for the VMX Net network adapter. Version 3.5, VMware introduced a new name for the network adapter Flexible. The flexible network adapter identifies itself as a VLANs adapter when a virtual machine boots, but initializes itself and functions as either a VLANs or a VMX net adapter, depending which driver initializes it. VMware Tools versions recent enough to know about the flexible network adapter include the VMX net driver, but identify it as an updated VLANs driver. So the guest operating system uses that driver. When using the flexible network adapter, you can have VMX net performance when sufficiently recent VMware tools are installed. When an older version of VMware tools is installed, the flexible adapter uses the VLANs adapter. With VLANs performance, rather than giving no network capability at all when it can't find the VMX net adapter. Adding a virtual network card through the virtual machine wizard is fairly easy, and all we have to do is shut down the guest OS. We can't add it while it's live, so it's much like the real world that you can't just throw a network card in a server while it's running. You've got to shut it down. So I've got my virtual machine shut down. Now I'm going to go into Edit Settings and I'm going to click Add. Now I'm going to select Ethernet Adapter. Adapter Type. For most 32-bit virtual machines native to VMware Server 2 or VMware ESX Server 3, only the flexible adapter is available. For most 64-bit virtual machines and for 32-bit Microsoft Windows Vista virtual machines, only the E1000 adapter is available. For certain guest operating systems on VMware ESX Server 3.5 and later, you can choose the Enhanced VMX Net adapter in addition to the Flexible or E1000 adapter mentioned for that guest type in the previous bullets. Network Connection This is the network we want to add it to. Now we only have one because in later movies we're going to look at adding other networks to our server. But if we had other networks we could select them here. And we can select to connect it at power on if we'd like. Or if we want to leave it disconnected and only connect to it or only connect at certain times we can uncheck it and then go into the settings and then check connect. But I want to connect on power on so I'm going to click Next, Finish, OK, and that's it. Let's power this thing on and take a look at it. Let's go over here to our console, and I'll go ahead and log in real quick.
Now I'm going to right click on My Network Places, go to Properties, and notice we have two connections now. So that's what we did. We added a new network adapter, so it's that simple. And this network adapter could be on whatever network we specified. Close it, and that's it.